This is not a video that I wanted to make, but one that I felt that I had to make. Atlassian, as much as I love you, every once in a while you screw me over just a little bit. And in this particular case, I was completely just blindsided by a change that Atlassian made and it is super frustrating what they did. And I just kind of want to walk you through my story, tell you about their reactions to my story or to my specific event and kind of see if any of you in the community have had to experience this because maybe just maybe you're also experiencing it and you maybe don't know about it. So I want to essentially raise awareness and kind of vent a little bit because this was super, super frustrating. And I really would like to know if you've also experienced this problem. So before we get started into the story, make sure you take a second here to subscribe to the channel as I guarantee you that this is the channel that you want to have in your Atlassian arsenal. All right, so let's talk about my story. Now this as a, to set the stage only impacts premium and enterprise customers. So if you're not on Jira premium or Jira enterprise, this, then this doesn't really impact you. But if you are then listen up because this story it's I'm, it might be a little dramatic in the way I'm making this video, but it really did frustrate me a lot. And I just want to share the story with you. Okay. So I'm going to show you in Jira kind of what I'm talking about in order for this to make sense. So inside of the wonderful world of Jira, if again, if you're a premium or enterprise subscriber, you know that you have something called teams up here in the navigation and you also have plans. Now, hopefully you're using those features because at least the plans feature is really, really awesome. You, double your bill and it's a really cool feature. But up until March of this year, when you clicked on plans, you would have something down here that was called shared teams. Now you'll notice that that shared teams no longer exists. Now these shared teams is really, really powerful. It allowed you to essentially use a team field that was built into Jira that would then allow you to assign like an Epic or an initiative or anything you really wanted to a specific team so that that team can then have some autonomy to go do the work that they needed to do. And inside of your Jira part of discovery and through JQLs or whatever, you could then filter on that specific team. So this team was very, very powerful and it still is, it's, it still exists. But Atlassian also had a different problem. They had a teams over here. Now this teams was not, I repeat, that teams was not the same thing as a shared teams. And in fact, if you had any teams in there, it didn't really do anything, at least not in Jira software In Confluence and other tools it did, but with respect to that specific team field inside of Jira software, it didn't influence it at all. In fact, you needed to use the share teams inside of plans. So at last had an idea of like, let's just combine these, which I respect because it was very, very confusing to have both the teams and that share teams, especially when the teams that is dominant, right? It's in that UI, it's in the navigation, didn't do anything. And in fact, you had to go looking, you had to hunt for that share team because it was not easy to find. And then you had to configure it and whatnot. So it's a smart move that Atlassian did. I respect it, but their rollout and implementation frustrates me completely. So here's what they did in case you're not aware. So they merged the two fields. So now if you want to manipulate the team field in Jira, you simply go to teams, you create a team, and now that team will show up. But because I mentioned something earlier that that team used to work really well in Confluence and other tools, well, Atlassian merged it all together. So across all your tools, so Confluence, Jira Service Management, Ops Genie, right? All your different tools, they now use the same team. And this is really good. This is, you're like, Alex, well, then what's the problem, right? This is a really, really good thing. Well, I haven't told you where they screwed me over yet. Right. So in this quest to make the team a shareable field that is now consistent across all the products, they also rolled it into the sandboxes. But to add insult to injury, not only did they add it to the sandbox, but they made it org wide. Now, most people, at least if you're a premium user, this doesn't impact you. But if you're an enterprise user, then your ears should have perked up real high because they made it org wide. Now, if you're an enterprise customer, you most likely have more than just one instance of your 
Atlassian Suite, right? So you might have two, three, five. In my case, I have 22 Juras. So underneath your org, you may have multiple and multiple Juras and confluences and products and whatnot. And this is where Atlassian screwed us over big time. They made that share team, not only just at the instance, at the site really, which is where it should be, and this is where it should have stopped right there, but they made it across the entire org. So now any other admin that you have across any of your other sites can, and in my case did, delete teams. Because overnight, one day, without any warning, without any emails, without any communication, they just simply merged everything together. And so you wake up the next day and you're going in through the teams and you're like, huh, what's this magical list of all these extra teams that are all of a sudden now in my thing? So the natural, and this is again, personal experience, this is what happened to me in the real world. Um, two things actually I'm gonna talk about that happened to me in the real world, right? But the natural inclination was like, oh, I don't recognize these teams, let me delete them, right? Let me get them out of the way. And so they did that. And then the other scenario was, I was coming up with teams in the sandbox, right? Because as a best practice, I, the sandbox, I utilize it for what it's intended to, to prove out a concept. So I built the teams in the sandbox, then I recreated them in production. Well, when I deleted them in the sandbox, cause they weren't needed anymore, for whatever reason, I last thought it'd be a good idea to link those together. And because I deleted in the sandbox and because my other admins that I don't necessarily control woke up one day and they're like, what are these? They just started deleting. Well, these are now global folks. These are now org wide and all of my teams got deleted. They got purged. And this is where my problem started because now the teams that for years were depending on that share team and that unique idea of that share team, all that gone and not retrievable. Atlassian tried to retrieve it, but by the time they'd fixed their damage, I had already moved away from the teams and I moved on to a different method. So again, I, I didn't want to make this video, but I figured maybe you guys can benefit from just hearing this story. And so at least maybe raise awareness because it is a huge problem here, especially for enterprise customers. Cause now all of a sudden all of your teams are everywhere. And I really wish that Atlassian would at least kept that at the site. Like it makes sense for everything under the same URL to share the team, but my sandbox teams should not be impacting my production teams. Like, that was a big no-no, big, huge mistake. And across all the different orgs, Atlassian, you really, really messed this one up big time. It caused production nightmares for me. It caused weeks of rework because essentially I had to recreate. And, and now Atlassian has forced me into this path of not doing a best practice where now I created a custom team field to circumvent this problem because I essentially can't trust Atlassian with that anymore. Atlassian, I think, needs to remember that we use these tools in production, high stakes, high risk environments. You simply can't make a change like this and not tell anybody and expect the community to be okay with it. So that's kind of my story. Again, something I didn't really want to make, but I wanted to share just to raise awareness or even just to vent. But let me know in the comment section if you experience something like this, right? Let me know, maybe you aren't aware, but I challenge you, if you're an enterprise customer, go look at your teams. They're now across the entire org and hopefully, fingers crossed, you don't get screwed over like I did, but it did have significant impacts to me. And the worst thing is that while Atlassian was able to restore the teams, they couldn't tell me who deleted it. And, and it's just like a very big mess. And, and I think it goes against Atlassian's principles that they have here. They handle it very poorly. Their support took almost two and a half weeks of me going back and forth of them figuring out how severely they screwed me over. And by the time they came back around two and a half weeks later, again, as I mentioned, I moved off. I, I We don't use Teams at all. And it really sucks because this is a cool feature that Alaskan just totally messed up. And it's something that I wish my teams could use, but I personally, I cannot promote the use of this Teams, especially when you're gonna be doing it to drive filters and and you know, million dollar decisions. Like Alaskan, we just can't, I can't depend on something that Alaskan is gonna change on me without telling me. But anyways, that's it for this video. If you liked it or if you empathize with me, uh, make sure you drop a like on this video. Let me know in the comment section if you wanna share your horror stories. And most importantly, if you wanna help support the channel, maybe you're new to this channel, I have a link tree down below. I got a merch store. I got a podcast that you can subscribe to, The Jira Life. I have free and paid courses. Everything is down there. And if you need my help with Jira, then I also have a membership program for you. So make sure you check that out in the link tree and I'll see you in the next one.